Good afternoon, welcome to Cardiff City TV and this under-21 fixture. The Bluebirds in action against Charlton Athletic today. Dan Purse's side looking to build on their victory last time out against Millwall. And we will very quickly run you through the teams before we get underway here. In goal for the Bluebirds, number one, Jacob Dennis. Rowing number two is Vontae Campbell. Number three, Joel Bagan. Number four, Aidan McNamara. Number five and captain is Xavier Benjamin. In midfield, we have number six, Eli King. Number seven, Tanatswa Nayakua will play up front. Number eight is Cameron Antwi. Number nine, Chanka Zimba. Number 10, Owen Pritchard. And number 11, Isaac Jeffries. For our visitors then. In goal is number one, Ahmed Kone. Number two, Richard Chin. Number three, Samuel Ogontago. Number four is Charlton's captain, Zach Mitchell. Number five, Harris O'Connor. Number six is Deji Elarewe. Number seven is Harvey Kedwell. Number eight, Jason Adigan. Number nine is Daniel Kanu. Ten, Jeremy Santos and 11, Patrick Casey. Almost time for action then here at Lequith. Thank you for joining us. And thank you to Tom Hopkins, who is with me this afternoon. Tom, it's been an interesting start to 2023. Players coming in, players going out of the Welsh capital at this level, but a good win last time out. And that's what Darren Pearce will want to build on today. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I think that the under-21 side were maybe a little hard done by with some of the results that they had in recent weeks. But to get a win back against uh, league leaders Millwall was obviously good in momentum shift, I'd like to think, for the young Bluebirds. And hopefully they can build upon it, as you said, this afternoon. Off we go then. Cardiff International Sports Stadium for this one. A couple of players on the verge of that first team. King, Campbell, Bagan, spring to mind. Always interesting to track their progress in these games. A bit of space here for Ogontago. Well handled by Ponte Campbell. Have a look at how the Bluebirds will line up. We've got a out and out striker in Chanka Zimba, supported by Nayakua in, in fine form recently, playing a lot of games at under 18 and under 21 level. Isaac Jeffries will be there in support, and Owen Pritchard played in defence in the past wearing number 10 this afternoon so I wonder exactly where we'll see him probably in a more central midfield role he's king Charlton Athletic come here, 26 points from their 19 games played in the Professional Development League. Three games unbeaten at the moment for the Addicts. Draws against Colchester and Millwall. And then a very convincing win against Watford, 6-1 for them last Monday. Here's Richard Shin. There's space for Casey, but doesn't come to anything. Out for a goal kick. Here being 
pressed by Jeffries. Shape to the Bluebirds. Early doors forcing Charlton back. I think it's going to be Naya Kua operating on the left with support from Joel Bacon. Here he is. King into Zimba. Antoine space on the edge, but he couldn't be picked out. Now Charlton have it back. Naikua does well to put the pressure on. Positive start, I think, from City, even when they're not in performance at the moment. Just, as you said, getting that pressure on. Important just to pin them in here. Good there from Antwi, picks up that ball, Jeffries in space. Cameron Antwi plays that ball well, intercepted from the Charlton man. Nicely done from Owen Pritchard, here's McNamara. That would be a Charlton throw. Again, Pritchard, I think just watching so far, he's been kind of marshalling the men around him quite well. Reading it well, also. Yeah, it looks like Pritchard and King as a midfield too, they've played together for a number of years in the academy, know each other's game very well. And as we said earlier, Owen Pritchard's got that defensive experience as well that he'll add. Perhaps that will allow King to dictate play a little bit more. That's loose from him. Here's Santos, chance on the break for Charlton. Comes inside. Just about dealt with. Oh, a goal kick, a little bit nervy there for the Bluebirds. Yeah, Charlton lot, couldn't find the right pass. Lost the ball in a key area there, unfortunately. I think it might have been a slight miscommunication and Vontae Campbell's went a bit, pass went a little bit loose, but nonetheless managed to defend it in the end. Good feet from Antwi. Comes out of trouble with the ball. Here's Campbell in a bit of space. Good run, good touch from Pritchard. He's just muscled out of it for a throw. Now, it was a strong team that played here seven days ago in that win against Millwall. Mark Harris, Isaac Davis, Ruben Corwell. Featuring it was Mark Harris who scored the first one, but then three goals scored by players in this side in Cameron Antwi, Owen Pritchard, and Chanka Zimba. So there are goals in this side, Tom. Just about finding the right players in the right positions to put them away. Yeah, certainly. I mean, it has been good, obviously, for the under 21 side to get bolstered by some good experience from first team players. And we have got a couple of first team players in there today, such as Joe Bagan, but. They have managed to get results here and away this season without that help. Stoppage in play here, Charlton Man. Just a clash of heads. Daniel Kanu looks to be all right, thankfully. pressure and praise you can hear from Darren Purse allow City to get it back here's Jeffries pinched off him
too uh, enthusiastic there. Xavier Benjamin brought his man down before he got a foot on the ball and the man stayed down over on the far side for Charlton. Free kick given. It's a word on Cameron Antwi, Tom. Central to this, this side, playing today in that advanced role just ahead of Pritchard and King. What have you made of him so far this season? Well, he's a really quite versatile player in the midfield, it must be said, and he, I think last week was quite instrumental in just being able to turn over the ball, get it away quickly. He got a goal for himself early in the second half and a terrific assist for uh, Owen Pritchard as well in that second. He's um, quite influential, it must be said. You know, he joined, I think, at the start of the season and he's one of the elder players in the 21 side who is a regular 21s player. And that experience that he does have, usually it looks like it pays off, you know, but again, home and away, he tends to perform and he's got a few goals this season, but that's not all that his game is about. And here he is, wearing number eight. Nice ball out wide to Nayakua. Began in support now on the overlap. It's a bit too much on that ball, in truth. And Joel tries his best, but goal kick. Pressure again there. Zimba's touch, not quite landing at the feet of Antwi, but City will come again. He's Began. Charlton look to counter. Namara gets back, but there's space here. Kedwell given away to Jeffries. Here's Campbell. Running into traffic there, Vontae Campbell, and thankfully winning a free kick. Yeah, I need to be, make sure that we're not wasteful in those positions, especially under pressure. Charlton applying the pressure here, no easy option for Vontae Campbell, so he has to go alone, loses it. Just about wins it back, King now playing a 1-2 with the right back. City play out, Pritchard with the space. Began driving forward. Trying to slip that ball into Nayakua. Nice effort, wins a throw in. Just like that, from defence to attack. Patience and persistence from Vontae Campbell to find the opening. Yeah, it's a good, uh, good transition there. Owen Pritchard, of course, spreading it well after getting the ball from Campbell. Joel Began, you know, he's he's got uh, Nyakua playing alongside him up top there on that left side, signalling for him to start to make the run. It's a good link-up play so far, and hopefully they can build upon it. Began's cross claimed by Kone. deals with this good composure from him back to Jake Dennis we go Campbell with a bit of space and Campbell again as well to win a free kick there very good in tight spaces, isn't he, Vonta Campbell? Yeah, he's got that physicality and the nerves to be able to pretty much hold up the ball well from his defensive position. There's a nice run there off camera from Owen Pritchard, just trying to break the line, but Joe Began played it safe. Back across to King, who now finds Pritchard. Neat and tidy in midfield, those two. Eli King obviously spent the first half of the season away on loan. Kuro Alexandra sends it long here looking for Jeffries. And we 
good from him. From Nayakua to his left, might go himself. Cameron Antwi could save from the goalkeeper. First real goal mouth action of the day. And it's Cardiff City picking up on loose balls. Good strike from the midfield man. I think we'll see on the replay here. You know, it looks as though he's being overrun here. Manages to somehow win the ball from it, though. Drives forward. He's got options to his right and left. Probably the wise decision to take the shot, I think. He's in a good position there. And players running away from him as opposed to coming up. Defenders seem to part, allowed Antwi in. Throw forward on goal and a good strike. That's good from King, good space found by McNamara as well to allow that pass. Here's Jeffries. Good drive from Isaac Jeffries. Jack is in, but not quite on the same wavelength as him. Slid that ball into the striker's direction. Nothing comes of it. Again, nice layoff to Pritchard, but it's read well by Harvey Kedwell of Charlton. His chin. Press well for Nayakua. That's not the pass that Jason Adigan was looking for. Bounced off Santos and out for a Cardiff throw. Jeffries, nice turn. Space for him to run into. Option in Joel Bacon out to the left and Nayakua. Offside flag is up though, unfortunately. Very close call. And perhaps City's number seven should have left it for his left back partner, who was up in advanced position outside of him. Just have a look now where the camera picks up that line. Hmm. Looks Not too sure about that one. I think Ella Railway is playing Nike on. But a good break from Jeffries, good feet from him. Promising signs in the first 15 minutes, still goalless here at Letwith. Cardiff City's under 21s though, building as this game goes on. Nice touch from Nike back. To Zimba. Shaka Zimba. Wide of goal. The chances are coming slowly but surely, Tom. They are. We seem to have broken them down in the last two minutes or so. Bit unorthodox, it must be said, between Niaku and Zimba there. Not entirely sure who's going to get the shot away, but Zimba does in the end. Getting bodies forward on the break, Cardiff City. Forcing the Charlton defenders back on the turn and into loose passes like that, which is a run for a corner, unforced error. A good opportunity to send some bodies forward. Xavier Benjamin springs to mind. to deliver then towards the back post a bit too much on it Benjamin appealing that his shirt was grabbed there but the referee is not interested Eli King having a word as well certainly seemed to cut his run short there Xavier Benjamin he's arguing because he was fouled the man in the middle is not interested Stephen Hughes today with the whistle and it'll be a Charlton goal kick
poor one again from Pritchard. Zimba can't bring it under his control. A little bit rushed there, in all honesty. Good positioning from Jeffries, but again, he can't make it his. Bacon, but it drops for Kanu. Wide to Chin. Nice give and go. Chance for him to slide the ball across. And Benjamin puts behind for a corner. That's probably Charlton's best move of the match. Yeah, I think you're right. And uh, well, Benjamin isn't happy about it there. He's, he's already commanding his teammates to get into position for this corner kick. Swung in, good save from Jacob Dennis. Didn't see a lot of that. City's number one. Referee has stopped play as well, but we'll have another look. This opportunity came in low. I think it's Addy Gunn, number eight, who gets a foot on it. For Charlton, good reflexes from Dennis to keep it out. Casey just having a word with the man in the middle a warning for them both and we're back off underway with Xavier Benjamin Charlton then 21 minutes on the clock trying to find the opening goal in this game Cardiff arguably had the better chances but the visitors have had a good opportunity themselves forcing a good save from Dennis City though trying to play on the press and on the counter Addicts, O'Connor, good pressure, and Nyakua almost gets a foot in, just cut off the easy option, back to skipper Zach Mitchell there, Nyakua forced Charlton to play a bit more bravely. Fortunately for them, it's come off and they come to this near side now with Adigan. That's a loose ball. Can check us in, but get there. It's a good tackle. Really good tackle from Zach Mitchell. Chakazimba stays down on his haunches. Back 
back up now since he's number nine and it will be a Cardiff throw on halfway just to get things back underway Monte Campbell with a nice ball out to Joel Baker Antwin surrounded by bodies but once again finds the space here's Campbell Jeffries out wide if he wants to use him it's a ball high towards the back post and that looked like handball and Naikua still with it trying to work an angle he's got Bagan for support needs to come back inside Joel Bagan and Zimber good roll from the striker can he get a shot off Chaka Zimber blocked City still with the ball Naikua low cross finally it's cleared good pressure from the Bluebirds both sides of the pitch yeah certainly I think from where we're sat I think it might have been a handball as well inside the area wouldn't mind seeing that on a replay but hopefully we'll have another look at it but in the meantime Began finds Pritchard with the throw has turned from him concedes the foul in the process well, let's have a look then good ball from Isaac Jeffries and it's a Decent touch from Nayakua. Does strike the arm, but I'm not too sure the defender could do much with it. Not really looking at the ball as it hits him. Charlton in a dangerous position here. Zimba putting the pressure on, and that's a poor touch. And a railway with it. presented the Bluebirds with the ball near to the Charlton box, here's Campbell trying to drive in from the touchline he's got two for company, do well to win a corner here, does win a well, should have won a corner, absolutely should have won a corner a goal kick's been given unless there's a very small touch from Monte Campbell that we've all missed that the linesman's seen, looked like it came back off the Charlton man a nice touch from him again King Bacon gives him the easy option that's a good ball looking for Jeffries nice idea 26 minutes gone the Bluebirds starting to grow into this game Tom yeah certainly looking the more comfortable on the ball aren't they a few were mistakes made so far and the press is on the city side is definitely having a bigger impact it must be said Hopefully now we can turn those half chances into chances and from there take a lead. Benjamin back to Bagan. McNamara, the available option. He goes inside to Pritchard. That's a nice touch from Owen Pritchard. Monte Campbell still with it. Driving at goal once again, the right back. And finally this time wins a corner. Lovely little touch from Owen Pritchard to release Fonte Campbell there. It's a good link of play, isn't it? Again, Fonte Campbell just willing to use his speed and his strength to get forward as well. Joel Bacon then to deliver. He's looking for the back post with his previous delivery swings it in but that's should be easily claimed by the goalkeeper he now needs an out ball McNamara to King City starting to turn the screw here good into play and that's late and King's taken a bit of a heavy whack there and wouldn't be surprised to see a yellow card. And the referee went straight to his pocket, didn't he? Jason Adigan, the guilty party. Really can't say it's necessary. That foul at all, is it? It's in the middle of the park. Very late. 
Yeah, nice idea from King just to try and pop it back through the way it came. And give City the free kick then on halfway. And we restart quickly, try and keep that momentum up. Here's Began. Benjamin goes back to Jacob Dennis. Again, with a nice turn. Seen that a couple of times today, and a nice touch from Zimba. Here's Owen Pritchard in a bit of space. Nayakua, Began on the outside. Oh, that's the wrong option, no one in there. And the execution wasn't brilliant either. Out for a goal kick. Sloppy again from the visitors. Particularly on this side there, left side of the fence have those connections they would have liked. Meanwhile, Monte Campbell and Isaac Jeffries working very nicely together. That one will be a throw though. Pritchard, Campbell. Well cut off by Monte Campbell. Trying to keep Charlton in their corner. 30 minutes played at the Cardiff International Sports Stadium. Don't forget the big one, the seven-side derby, Saturday, 12.30. Bristol City are the visitors in the Welsh capital. Tickets available now. Help Sabri, Lamucci and the boys create an atmosphere for that one as we look to kick off March with a win. A risky pass from Charlton is met by Began. There yeah, Kua looking for the run, and we had made it, but it's a good shape from Charlton. for Zimba but it's headed away we're back with Mitchell Benjamin recollects possession for City that's nice from Antwi breaks the line with a good run can't keep hold of the ball though no questions of a foul there unexpectedly that's good covering from it. Isaac Jeffries not to let Charlton out on the break. King wins it again and takes a knock for his efforts. Great ball looking for Jeffries. Don't think he's going to keep it in. Out for a goal kick, but it's a nice idea once again from the men in midfield wearing blue. No, it's terrific, isn't it? The It's been really quite comprehensive so far, must be said, apart from in that final third. He's up in half hour. Antwi again, just always looking to make something or always being on the end of it if he needs to be. Slightly overhit it there, unfortunately. Richard King Bacon's delivery into Zimba just can't trap that ball Chanka Zimba, his King Campbell in space over on this near side 
needs Jeffries to make the run. But the space disappears. Monte Campbell comes inside, needs an option. And it's Bagan making that inside run. It's patient from City. It's a silly foul to give away. But it's well won by Owen Pritchard. And off we go again. Keen to keep the ball moving at pace here, Darren Purse's side. Here's Bagan, space for him to run into. from Dennis but Benjamin makes it work and wins a foul I don't think I've seen this side be so dominant in possession so far this season to be honest with you can it and they have looked very comfortable for the most part on it yeah, City seeing a lot of the ball working both flanks options through the middle as well particularly in Antwi with Zimba the focal point not yet though able to break the deadlock with 35 minutes played still 10 to go in this first half and Charlton it has to be said not looking too comfortable at the back a little bit sloppy and nervous maybe in possession but they've held firm so far there's Mitchell Santos now on the ball needing Ahmed Kone the goalkeeper to make himself available Blue shirt swarming forward, trying to put Charlton under a bit of pressure and almost pays off. Here now, though, for Charlton to break forward. Here's our good Targo. Take Campbell with a strong challenge. Wins every kick well that Didn't really think that was needed from the Charlton man the ball was already gone and Fonte Campbell just clipped for probably the fourth time in this game he has been a nuisance this half it must be said Space for Zimba to run into. That's a good ball. Chanka Zimba, one on one. Can he put City ahead? Round the goalkeeper. No. Well dealt with by Kone, to his credit. That was the biggest chance for Chanka Zimba. Great ball through to him. But Ahmed Kone read it well. Didn't let the striker make up his mind. And in the end, it's not the best touch from Chanka. Dennis plays it forward to Nayakua. Good touch from him. Good find from the keeper. Biggest chance of the day then for City. One on one opportunity. The starting position from the goalkeeper is good. And there's an argument that maybe that one should have been lifted over him. Chipped into uh, the back of the net. But nil nil it remains. combine well to get out of a tight space there but Charlton winning the ball back now in their space a bit sloppy that's been the story of their half
Pagan into Zimba. Good touch from him. King now. Good idea to look for Jeffries. Not enough on that ball. Here's Benjamin. Trying to slide it through there, Owen Pritchard. Charlton driving on goal. Chance flags up though, won't count. Excellent finish from Patrick Casey. The first time we've seen that City defence split in this match, but the linesman alert to it, and as soon as that ball went across to Casey, the flag went up. Finished well by Charlton's number 11. And it's the first time we've really not seen that protective shield of Eli King and Owen Pritchard. Defenders backpedalling, the Charlton man running into space. And just a warning sign for City, but here's one at the other end. It's Zimba now. Gets the right side of his man, good strength. Options here for Chanka Zimba. Saved, but Jeffries blocked off the crossbar. End to end here at Leckwith. Both sides with chances to take the lead, and that one has brought a superb block from the Charlton defender. Not entirely sure how they've managed to keep that one out. It's good work, as he said, from Zimba up top there. He's out battles his man. Good save. Jeffries does the right thing, sticks it towards the opposite corner, but it's Ogontago with a great instinctive block up onto the crossbar and out for a corner. Big moments in this match in the last five minutes. Two big chances for Cardiff, one for Charlton. What can the Bluebirds do here? Kua put under pressure. I don't think he was quite ready to receive that ball, nor was King. Pritchard stays on side just about. Kua can't keep that ball in his possession. Charlton trying to play out, but King wins it back. Kua. Mara and Tweet offering some support. McNamara now has to pick a forward pass and does. Ian Campbell just playing a couple of one twos. City regroup. Jake Dennis sends it high and long. But the offside flag is right. Casey, scorer of that offside goal for Charlton, has looked lively in their rare attacks in this first half. Brings it back there. That's a loose touch. Ogontago, the man who made that block from Isaac Jeffries. Here is Jeffries, cuts inside, good touch. Takes it away from the defender. Nayaku is held wide in space now but the pass isn't good enough out for throw is that chance again just the one on one with Zimba looks to try to round the keeper doesn't he but not quite got it off as he would have liked it's well claimed by the keeper though to be fair yeah that touch Big touch that's got to drag wide and pull that goalkeeper with you. Didn't quite have the power on it from Chanka Zimba, if anything. Almost had too much time and too many options to decide what was the best course of action. There he is again, Zimba. Trying to play it across, wins a corner. Two minutes to go then in this first half. Cardiff City nil, Charlton Athletic nil at the moment. And once again, from the opposite side this time, it will be Joel Bacon's corner delivery. 
swung in. Benjamin rises. It won't fall to King. Now can Charlton break? No, Isaac Jeffries does really well, and I think that's come off. Might look to have come off the Charlton defender. Eli really like King thought the same, but it's a Charlton throw back towards halfway. Back to Adigan. Connor out there in support. No chin. Can't get it past Bagan though. Kedwell pushes wide into the final 30 seconds of this first half. Nice touch from Chin. Bit of space for him to deliver into. Pulls it back, but King makes the vital touch. And it goes for a throw. line then as we enter stoppage time unfortunately unable to bring you exactly how many minutes we will have left always a mystery at academy level but with no goals you can't imagine it being too long Charlton then looking to finish the half on a high but King's equal to it pokes it back down towards the goalkeeper and that's loose can Cardiff Make the most of it. Isaac Jeffries wins a free kick. Should be time to swing this into the box before the half is out. Monte Campbell has other ideas. And the flag is up against Nayakua. And that is the end of the action. First 45 minutes here at Leckwith at under 21 level. It is Cardiff City nil, Charlton Athletic nil. Well, goalless, but not an entertaining chances, particularly in the last 10 minutes or so of that first half. Chad Kazimba, Isaac Jeffries, a goal ruled out at the other end for Patrick Casey. The Bluebirds have been the better side, unable to find the opener, though. Join us for the second half in 15 minutes or so.
back for the second half of this one under 21 action here at Legworth nil nil at the break Charlton with two changes at the interval coming on are number 12 Tolu Ladapo and number 15 Henry Ryla replacing the attacking duo number 10 Jeremy Santos and number 11 Patrick Casey it was Cardiff City who dominated the first half a couple of very good chances one from Chan Kazimba Isaac Jeffries forcing an excellent block from Samuel Ogontago. But neither side able to find the breakthrough in the first 45. Chance here for Charlton, though Jake Dennis off his line to come and smother. And does well. Henry Ryler straight into the action there off the bench still with the addicts and Egan this idea from the Dapo doesn't come off though here's Pritchard chance for Nayakua to run with the ball Again, Zach Mitchell plays the ball across. Full throw. King. And nice idea, but too much on it. Regain possession. his man down cheeky nutmeg on him wasn't letting Samuel Guntago go any further <laughs> driven into Vontae Campbell a good touch an important touch from Joel Bacon who wins it back now King Come short. And play back to Bacon Charlton. Looking lively at the start of the second half. Kedwell wearing number seven. Feeds it into the pot. And we can combine. Can't get it away. Still come the visitors. Here's Chin. Space out wide for that cross to go in. Good cross. Dealt with by McNamara. Here's Harris O'Connor. That's a sloppy pass. Kua tries to win the free kick and can. Charlton still with the ball. Chilagan does well just to force it out of play. Got some instructions from Darren Purse. It's a mix up early in the, the half. Jake Dennis does well. He uses his pace off the line to come and get that ball off the toe of Henry Ryler. Zimba comes low to Chin, pokes it to Ogontago, has a go, deflects up Campbell. Oh, so Campbell concedes a corner. Tom Charlton Athletic look a different side at the start of the second half. They do, don't they? I think they've had a good talking to at half time by the looks of it, and that change of personnel has managed meant that they've managed to do so. It's um well, kind of very much more on the back foot at the moment. Hopefully they manage to break the pressure that they're under and uh, by the looks of it at the moment, look for a quick counter. Yeah, no real out ball in 
those last few minutes for the Bluebirds to hit. Antwi and King playing short passes outside their own box can cause you a bit of trouble. Here comes the Charlton corner. Good delivery. Dennis meets it. Now Nayakua is the man to look for. Instead, Dennis puts it into the direction of Antwi. Holds up in the wind, but he does well there, Cameron Antwi, to find Jeffries. It's Pritchard. Needs a run. Plays the ball in hope of the run. Doesn't come from any of his forward players, and Charlton have the ball again. into the box and Isaac like Jeffrey should do better lifts his leg just to meet that ball hooks it over the bar perhaps could have gone with his head there City's first chance of the half might be right there I think Nierku has done very well hasn't he starts with the pass back there puts it onto his left foot before swinging it in it's perfect really isn't it it's the perfect ball in Awkward height, prior to Jeffries, can't really stoop to get his head on it. But it's not a, a nice angle for a volley either. Good intentions from Mayakura, good intentions here from Eli King. Finds Vontae Campbell with that free kick. It's an option now, Vontae, oh, does he? Goes himself to the byline, needs help. Oh, blocked, and it's a corner. Mayakura and Simba just attack the same line there, the same run. But Vontae Campbell does excellently to create space for himself. Both men go to the front post and win a corner. And after Charlton's fast start in the second half, the Bluebirds are responding with chances of their own. corner routine and to be squares it back Campbell oh, wide of goal so close to an opener again it's those men who have been instrumental so far King Campbell Antwi at the heart of it again that looked like a rolling ball on the goal kick which has forced City all the way back to their own keeper Jake Dennis here's Chin it's going to be a chance throw in Definitely an intense start to the second half, isn't it? It's a good chance made here. It's very well cut back. Norman Pritchard, I think, doing his best just to get out of Vontae Campbell's way so he can have a cleaner strike on the ball. corner to Charlton, a couple of subs warming up for the Bluebirds, Jason Menyo's down there, Lewis Ware, Kian Ashford, a man who's been out with injury for a little while, to see him back on a, on a team sheet, wonder if we'll see him in action in this second period, 54 minutes gone, Cardiff City nil, Charlton Athletic nil. Counter now with Pritchard looking for Naikua. Comes across but can't quite get a foot on it. Back to Chin. Good touch from him. The right back. There's another free kick to Charlton in a good area. Just quick transi transition so far, isn't it? Yeah. Perhaps necessary to 
get the foul in, to be honest with you. It's a dangerous position. Otherwise, if they manage to break through there. The other side keeping the ball for large parts in this second half. Looking back and forward. City trying to play on the counter. With Charlton seeing more of possession. Let's see how they defend this one. Comes short again. Much to the unhappiness of Charlton's coach down below us. It's a good ball in. Shooting chance there for Mitchell. Here's Ryla, the substitute. Mitchell does well. Here's Ogontago. That's a bit loose and can Zimba pounce on it. Almost. Not sure that's a free kick. To be perfectly honest. Intervention. And he can on the ball. Two to choose from. It's Ryler. Swing another good delivery in. Oh, a bit of confusion. And Pritchard plays it safe. For a goal kick. Should have come off a Charlton man. A little bit hairy there between Benjamin and Pritchard. Number 15, Henry Ryler, has come off the bench and put in two or three great deliveries for Charlton. Up towards Zimba, the striker can't make it stick. Is Ryla. Charlton far better in this second half than they were in the first. That's a good ball, but that's a great tackle from King. Here's Chin. Will he have a strike? No, but does well to get the ball out of his feet. Here's Ladapo. Into the box. Well marshalled by Pritchard and Campbell. Charlton in the ascendancy, City just sitting back, waiting for their chance to pounce, really. So far it's chalk and cheese between the two halves, isn't it? City now properly on the back foot and trying to, it looks like, just counter on the, get them on the break, as opposed to that possession heavy kind of Passing around the pitch that we saw in the first half, it's a bit less fluent. Still plenty of options, still trying to play the right way. The Bluebirds, Eli King coming short, looking to pick up the ball. Cameron Antwies, very close to Nayakua, high up the pitch. And as you say, to Charlton. Charlton have just been less sloppy with it, they're giving the ball away on fewer occasions they do keep it for prolonged periods, they're looking dangerous. Here's Mitchell. Ryla. Ball in to Chin. Xavier Benjamin bringing his back four up. Away from the edge of their box. That's a poor, poor pass from the railway. Seems to have come inside to play centre half. He was playing predominantly at left back in the first half. Looks a bit more comfortable in the middle, but his distribution not quite up to scratch there. Thank you. 
Fagan. Looking for King. Well won there by Adigan. Has a shot on goal, Dennis, equal to it. So it's 15 minutes from him since coming on. Substitutions here. Joe Semenyo going through his final paces. Kian Ashford kind of ready too. Shooting chance over the bar. For Charlton. 62 minutes gone. Still goalless. Effort. Jack Dennis comes down well to it. Nice and comfortable, but undoubtedly Charlton have been uh, impressive in their second half, Tom. Yeah, they have. They're playing with a bit more intensity, aren't they? And they seem to have a bit more purpose with the ball. Keen to win it back as well, similar to how we were in the first half. Then the last five minutes or so, City hopefully seem to have weathered the storm a bit and keep them out of our own area limiting those chances to shots from outside the area free kick then to the bluebirds to get things back underway here's King Changes then for City. Joe Bacon heading across. He makes way. That one will be for Jason Menu. And to that's one. Nine Kua off. James Kroll, the man coming on. So he'll move into attack. And we'll see Jason Menu playing. On his usual side, he'll be playing left back for the looks of things. More often a right sided defender. But that's a change on this flank. Kroll and Semenya off. Space here for Campbell City on the attack. Pritchard breaking into the box. Good ball, Antwi. Great defending. Credit to Zach Mitchell has been good presence in the back line for Charlton today. Just did enough to get that ball away from Antwi, who's advancing. King poking it into Antwi. Flags up though. Can't find the target with the finish, but the flag was already raised. Good bit of movement from City. Indeed, hopefully the uh, fresh legs may prove a bit of a difference here. Benjamin Kerr, 
Richmond on the ball. All of a sudden, Charlton quite deep. Bloomers with a bit of space to play, and here's Semenyo. You know, right about those fresh legs, Tom. Here's Kroll now, too. Comes back inside. King taking out to play with that header. Monte Campbell needs to track back now, because here's Ladapo into the box, slides it across, out for a corner, well recovered from Aidan McNamara. Well, it's reverse, really, of what we watched earlier in the half. This time it's Charlton trying to play on the break, and they get the bodies forward. McNamara and Campbell do a good job denying Ladapo a good ball into the box. played at Leckwith, 0-0 the score and everyone inside that six yard box the delivery that Charlton were looking for no with the build up I think we had as well I was expecting maybe for it to not go straight behind the goal line yeah it was a signal the ball being held over the corner taker's head or some kind of set piece move wouldn't do that again if I was them Jeffries, Campbell, nice touch. Again, it's Charlton with the ball on the turnover. It's clipped in, that's better, and it should be the opener. Here's Ryler, the substitute who's looked lively on this right flank. Charlton winning back a little bit too easily. It's clipped in really well. Ryler's just lifted that ball over the crossbar, needed to stab it downwards. The let off for City. Semenyo for company has had a great delivery and this time it's headed on goal. Adigan, the man with the effort. Henry Ryler, Charlton Athletics, best player. He's been on the pitch 20 minutes. Four or five great crosses from him now. Has been impressive and difference maker so far, I think. For the visitors. Nice idea from Kroll. Foul. Ogun Targo, the man who committed it. Is it Jeffries down, not too short. If there's a clip as well as a bit of cramp there, yeah, for no City's number 11. A bit of support from Owen Pritchard. is back up. Monte Campbell stands over the free kick. Looking the recipient. Semenyo isolated a little bit on this side. Benjamin now trying to play that ball back down the line to Antwi. Will it reach the midfielder? Pushed away for a corner there. It's a great ball from Xavier Benjamin. Held up lovely in the wind. Cameron Antwi asking for a little bit more than just a corner kick. It's a bit questionable on first viewing. I think that's a corner kick. Penalty appeals dismissed by Thomas Hopkins. Corner then to Cardiff City. 
No, King comes short. He receives that ball. Plenty of action now on the penalty spot. Lifted in. Flags up, though. James Kroll, the man contesting. Can't beat the offside trap. The change then for City. Looks like Isaac Jeffries coming across. Just had a bit of cramp there, so I think that's his uh, race run. And it is Kian Ashford wearing number 16. Went as the freight for the final 20 minutes. Goalkeeper at centre half almost resulted in a corner. Fortunately, and then Kone manages to get a foot on it in the nick of time. That's one well by King, given away by Antwi. Chant back on the ball. Kroll putting the pressure on. And Zach Mitchell's been impressive today. The skipper for Charlton Athletic. As Xavier Benjamin. This idea there from Shane. Here's Ashford in behind Ogantago. Zimba trying to put the squeeze on and that's a striker's tackle I think it's fair to say that will give Chanka a yellow card yeah, I certainly don't think he's meant to connect as he did there but a bit unfortunate really it does well shows the commitment to try and get across Get a touch on the ball. Here's Campbell. King. Those two. How many times have we seen their link up today? Zimba, Pritchard trying to force it a little bit. Owen Pritchard. Kian Ashford out wide. Tried to use him, but in a position that Kian wasn't yet in. I think there's maybe one more pass in it before putting the killer through ball. Charlton again then, still looking for that first ball, Chin, good ball across goal, there it is, Ryla. Something of a, a slight delay in play, and it's caught Cardiff City flat-footed. Number two, Richard Chin, with the move into the box and a good cross, and it's number 15, Henry Ryla, who has impressed since coming on at the break. He tucks it in at the near post, and with 15 minutes left, City nil, Charlton Athletic one. Yeah, sloppy from the Cardiff throw. Semenyo's not got eyes on his man. 
over his shoulder. And credit to the visitors, Tom. They've impressed since the break. Yeah, they have. They've been a totally different team, haven't they? They've changed it up. They've had a change of personnel and shape as well, I think. And it, it's just been all them, I think, in this second half, really. A couple of chances for the Bluebirds, but majority of them go into Charlton Athletic. Here's Kroll, nice link up with Antwi. Looking for an immediate response, but it's that man, Zach Mitchell, who clears up again. Benjamin doesn't get his bearings right there, and that's a foul on Daniel Kanu. Holds his hand up in apology, the city skipper. by the bounce of the ball, Xavier Benjamin. Good ball in again, this time from Kedwell, it's not going to run out of play, so here's Ashford. Pritchard does well and Ashford needs to just finish that clearance off. just about gets that ball to a teammate and here come Charlton again here's Ryler the goal scorer another delivery in that one runs for a goal kick City just being undone a little bit too easily on the turnover Campbell throw in inside the city half 77 minutes played Antwi Zimba came short should have gone long and just dragged his man down absolutely no need for that Jack Zimba ball in the middle of the park unfortunate from Kroll there came across didn't win it and here come Charlton once more a Deegan Chin Ryla Connor Chin again should have gone out wide Zimba's got to chase this one down once more. Does well. The striker puts the pressure on his man, and here come Cardiff with the throw in. Cameron Antwi, the lone figure, but that's a great throw from Semenyo. Can Antwi yeah, win a foul? I was going to say, kind of manhandled away from the ball there, Cameron Antwi. By Ella Rowe. That gives Cardiff City a free kick in a dangerous position. I thought it might have been a yellow card, to be honest with you. It's very blatant, isn't it? His arms around a raft down to where he's uh, trying his best to win the ball, but he's held up.
Cameron down to then. He's got Eli King on the edge of the box. Wonder what he will do here. And tweet. Back post. Just behind for a corner. Oh, the pace taken off the ball by that touch, and everyone held their breath to see if that one had nestled into the bottom corner. Yeah, certainly looked close from where we're sat, didn't it? Calm defending. Ventago. The results in a city corner, 10 to play. A goal down to Charlton Athletic. Henry Ryler with it. Can the Bluebirds get a leveller? King and Tweet all in the box. Behind again, and this time it's going to be a goal kick. with the final touch. And then Kone will send this one long. Xavier Benjamin needs to make sure. McNamara. Campbell. second balls really well stopping City's link up aren't they trying to disrupt and then go on the counter looking for a second to kill the game off yeah and the passing from the Blues just hasn't been it's been ambitious but maybe overly ambitious as we look for this level up Ryla on the outside slides it back across oh, McNamara slips well held by Jake Dennis Come Cardiff, Jason Menya. That's a foul, probably a yellow for Ryla. Tracking back, the goal scorer taking one for the team there, I think. Yeah, I think you're right. Gives full tilt to catch up to Semenya. There's that chance, Ryla slides it back across. Mara just slips. Nothing he could do about that. Changes then for the visitors. Number 14, Jacob Roddy, has gone into defence. And number 16, Nathan Asimwe. Harris O'Connor, number five, looks to have made way. As has number three, Samuel Ogontaga. Here comes Ryla then, on the break, chance to seal it for Charlton, Semenya with him. Well defended from Jay Semenya. His body on the line and it rolls into the hands of Dennis. And Pritchard, just sent to the floor in the middle of the park, nothing given by the referee. Touch from Semenya. King, playing first time, looking around the corner for roll. Nice idea, but the keeper was off his line. I'm a Kone equal to it. Six minutes left. Cardiff searching for an equaliser. Charlton looking for a second that one again a little too easy Darren Pearce just saying that his side have got to be higher up the pitch at this stage can't invite pressure as Charlton once they've got into Cardiff City's penalty box have looked dangerous here's Ashford good turn driving away from two men he's got Campbell outside him if he needs him Monte Campbell slides it back across and out for a throw. Well defended by the substitute there, Jacob Roddy. 
It's good work from Ashford, isn't it? He shrugs off two men before getting that ball away there. Need more of that now in these last five minutes. And to it. Back to Campbell as well. The midfielder, again, one of City's bright sparks in this fixture. Campbell delays it. Could work in his favour. Another throw in it is into the final five. McNamara needs an option, has to go all the way back to Jake Dennis. A lot of City players offside at the top end of the pitch. Pritchard does well, puts a foot in. Zimba brings it down. Crawls pass cut out by the impressive Mitchell. Chin also being lively for Charlton King turn from Antwi. Should be a yellow. Jacob Roddy recently off the bench. King taken quickly. Probably the wrong idea and thankfully the referee has brought that one back. Here's King. Pritchard. So dear, and it reached some men here at will all the way over on this far side. Ashford back in towards Eli King, needs help from his centre halves. Great turn, not sure he meant it, King E, but will take it. Here's Vonte Campbell. Ball across is well dealt with. throw in then two and a half minutes to play and we can't keep hold of that one here's Ryla great pass to release him Henry Ryla lifts it over oh, Chin should score the second Charlton dangerous on the break thankfully unable to take their chances Great release pass out to Ryler, man of the match for me. He just clips that ball to Chin, who mishits it in truth. Zimba does well, good turn. Into throw. Referee just suggesting there's a clash of heads there. Brings on the Charlton physio. Simway, the man now number 16. Back up, the substitute will have to depart briefly after that injury. Jim Semenyo is 
going to get us back underway with the throw. There will be stoppage time. How much we do not know, but a couple of injuries. And of course, that goal, the only goal so far in this game. Here's Semenya looking to make it one all. Benjamin King gets in the way inadvertently. And here come Charlton. Ladapo now with space. McNamara reads it well. Roddy. Free kick for City. And Ladapo stood right in front of it. So that will get him a yellow. it back, Kroll over the bar big chance and one of the men Tom, that you hope that they would fall to in there yeah, he would, you know, forward player with record scoring goals at this level it's just fortunate really, obviously he's arced back maybe a bit too much on balance and it's gone too high, he should have maybe tried to get over the ball a bit more to stoppage time then. Charlton with the lead. City trying their best to get back into it. Henry Benjamin's got Henry Ryler for company. Marshall's it well out for a goal kick. Jake Dennis sends it long. Antwi rises and wins it. Kroll feeds it to Campbell. Ashford at the back post. Zimba in the mix as well. Campbell slides that ball across, still going Vontae Campbell, and now behind for a corner Can't imagine there's much left in this one, Connor well, We are talking through the final few moments, Charlton 1-0 up Kian Ashford over, over to take this corner Last chance to lose your field for the Bluebirds Aidan McNamara goes forward Xavier Benjamin as well, Eli King's in there needs to be a good delivery Pritchard brings it down, back to Ashford here's King on the edge of the box good from King decent ball, Benjamin, it's in but he's offside that's the moment for the Bluebirds Xavier Benjamin arguing the case, but the flag's up and I think unfortunately that's going to be that Well, let's have a look at it then. Great composure from King. It's an early raised arm from the Charlton defender. Looks like a good line held by them. Benjamin clearly the furthest forward. City throw then, deep inside their own half. Final few seconds you feel of this one. Here's Kroll onto Zimba. And Tweet. Out towards Ashford. Will he keep this ball in play? Semenyo on the overlap. Ball's not right. Jake Dennis goes short to Benjamin. Doesn't have a lot on to clip that ball forward and Amara may just do that Roddy puts it out for a throw on replay says referee Stephen Hughes Kroll Campbell King the delivery. The man down in there and Jason Menyo. He can't make it. Nothing given from the referee, but Body's still in the box for Cardiff. Ashford needs to find a pass. Does so beautifully. That's definitely a foul on Zimba, but King plays on. Out to Campbell. 
two for company again, Vonte Campbell. But again, round his man. Floats it in. Kean Ashford. Curls it. Off the post. Oh, and off the line again. Out to Antwi, poor touch. And now Charlton break. Ryler. Body's coming back for City. Charlton could wrap it up here. Henry Ryler has got two options. Squares it. Daniel Carnu. Tidies it up for Charlton Athletic. So close at the other end for the Bluebirds. Off the post and then off a City player and almost onto the line. That brings things to a halt. There's a Charlton man down number seven. It's Harvey Kedwell. And we'll have a look at that last gasp chance. Campbell drills that ball across. It's Kean Ashford's curling effort. Does really well. And Kroll almost with his thigh tries to lift it over. There's much wrong with Cameron Antwi's tackle. But then Charlton go up the other end and seal the win. 2 0 is the final score. A disappointing day for Darren Purtis's side. They had chances. They looked dominant in the first half. But it's two second half goals inspired mainly by Henry Ryler, half time substitute. Scored one, set up the other. And that's given the visitors the points. Full time then here at Leckwith. Thank you all for joining us. It has finished. Cardiff City nil, Charlton Athletic 2.